Uh, Will Manso is on the Toyota of Hollywood hotline. Shop hundreds of Toyotas indoors in one of America's largest showrooms, Toyota of Hollywood on 441 between Hollywood and Sheridan. Will Manso, sports director at WPLG Local 10 in Miami. We've had, I mean, I, I'm taking a very easy take here, Will, that you don't know anything from Summer League. It's fun and it's entertaining, but it doesn't really mean anything. Solana, of course, being a uh, lifelong Heat uh, fan and uh, sometime employee, has taken the opposite course, that this is reminiscent of Spoh's rise to Hall of Fame level coach. Where do you stand as a Heat employee, of course? <laughs> I mean, first of all, I mean, I mean, this is a championship. I before you called, I was on the Heat website buying Heat Summer League champion gear. I mean, so I'm not exactly sure where you're going with this. And I was one of the few, you know, fans out last night after work. I went out here on Hallandale Beach Boulevard, and I was hitting pots and pans. So I'm extremely excited. For I what started I saw driving to Versailles. I was, I was like, I'm getting in on this celebration because I missed the Panthers one. But uh, then I turned around. I didn't see anyone I else. I didn't see anyone else out on the street. Good for these kids. It's good for the organization. I mean, I, look, I think, I think the takeaway is you, you love the two draft picks, what you saw in them, the potential. You know how much they'll actually play. I think, I think it's clear. Khalil Ware is probably going to be a rotation guy. Pella, I was over there for a few days, and Pella's got a lot of talent. Man, you know that, that old saying, he's got that dog in him, that, that saying? I mean, Pella's, I mean, he's made for that. He's not afraid to take a charge. He's not afraid to get nasty. I mean, he's obviously got a good shot. He's got development to go, but I think you have to be excited for some of the young players that, that progressed throughout the time in Vegas. I think it's a good thing. And, and Will, do all teams take it serious? Because it seems like like last night you said I was good at basketball. I watched some games with be honest, I watched some clips because I couldn't watch a whole game where it didn't really seem like they were playing basketball to the level that I'm used to watching. I mean, look, there are a lot of guys on there that aren't going to be NBA players. You know, they're going to play overseas. They're going to be G League, maybe, you know, guys that come up and get a, a little cup of coffee in the NBA. But I, I again, in the few days I was there, there was some talent out there. There were some guys that clearly belong in the league. And when you look at it from the Heat perspective alone, it's hard to play when you come together as a team. And we kind of see it, I mean, to a comparison, Team USA on a much bigger level with superstars. When you just throw guys together, it's not easy to just play together. And these guys really brought into the Heat style. And, you know, Josh Christopher in particular, you saw the way he played a former first-round pick. And, again, the two young guys, other young guys as well, Isaiah Stevens looked very good. I think they showed the ability to kind of be able to learn. And I think that's the first step. Sure, the level of play, the talent, you know, from – one to five and through the bench is not the same as the NBA, obviously. But I thought we saw enough talent to say, hey, this was good. It was good for these kids to play in the summer, and it was good for the Heat to kind of see what they had there. Who's your starting five for the Heat next year? Who's yours, Solana? Yeah, I don't know, uh, Will. I think right now I, I still think Terry Rozier is going to be in that starting lineup. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Jimmy Butler, um, Bam Adebayo. I still think mm -hmm. Nico Jovic, based on what he showed mm -hmm. you last year, is going to be in there. Then the question is, is it going to be Tyler Hero? Hero? It's going to be Tyler Hero. Is it going to be yeah. Duncan? Pella Larson, maybe? Hero. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's going to be Tyler Hero. It's going to be, I think the Heat are going to go with comfort. We're so far away from, from camp and, and there's time before then, but I, I think the Heat are going to give Tyler a shot again. I don't think the conversation of whether Tyler goes to a six man is something. I know Udonis mentioned it early in the offseason and it kind of became a topic of conversation. I don't think that's something they're looking at right now, but, you know, they could get to camp and see what they have and, and as camp goes along and into the preseason and, and the regular season, they could say, hey, look, this is the best version of us with you off the bench. But as it stands now, I would expect what Solana just said, and, you know, with Tyler in the starting lineup. And they go from there because remember, the, the theme of last year is they never really got to see what they had because of injuries and inconsistencies. And I think they're going to give them a fair shot early. And you can always pivot because people talk about last year's team like it was so bad. They won 46 games, right? I mean, they were they were a game or two away from being a top four or five seed. It's not like this team was terrible. They just had injuries and obviously they couldn't compete with the upper echelon like Boston, but I think they're going to give them a fair shot from the start. And well, to that question about Tyler, is that really that tough of a conversation? Is it with Tyler and Pat, Tyler and Spo? You know, what is that conversation? Because I saw, I saw the six man of the year. I think Tyler's amazing coming off being ball dominant and creating, but now mm -hmm. they say he wants to start. Is that a tough conversation internally if they have to tell Tyler or when they did have to tell Tyler, bro, we like you off the bench? Yeah, I, I think it's tough for the player more than the staff because I think the staff looks at film and they look at, at the overall body of work and they make a decision based on the team. Like I, I tell people this all the time. The Heat are not 
putting Tyler Johnson in the starting lineup because they feel they have to because they're paying him or feel sorry for him or don't want to hurt his ego. I mean, they if they feel he's best to come off the bench, they're going to put him on the bench. And by the way, Tyler's in the contract. He's going to have to take it and like it, you know, just like he did the first time around and he, and he pivoted and was a sixth man of the year and did all those great things that he did that season. If that's what they decide eventually, he's going to have to go with it. I don't think that he would ever make a decision. Sure, the, the conversation might be uncomfortable in the beginning, but the bottom line is like, this is to make the team better. So whatever the Heat decide with their backcourt and what they're going to do with their bench, it's always going to be for the best of the team. And the player has to accept it. I mean, as a player, you have to accept that role, whatever it may be. That was a delightful little mistake that you Oof. made there, Will. Did you like that, Solana? It kind of sent shivers down my spine. Called you- him Tyler Johnson, Will. Oh, did I call Tyler Johnson? Oh, you know, funny. <laughs> yeah, that I was delightful. Tyler. Oh, I, it was funny. I saw maybe that's like Tyler's. I saw Tyler in Vegas, and I was so happy to see him. He looks so good. He what, looks what is so it? Good. Is he still playing? I don't even know what he's doing. He was playing overseas. Yeah. Last I checked, he was playing in Australia. I didn't talk about his basketball. I just asked him how you know how he's doing, family, and he and he looks great. I mean, it, it clearly looks like he's still playing basketball because he's in great shape. But to see him go down the row of everybody and how happy he was to see from like you know all the players that were there, Josh Richardson and Adam Simon and then staff for the Heat, Jason. Jackson. I mean, he's he was seeing everybody there, and he was really genuinely happy. 